Good morning, my little boy. Is somebody enjoying the fire on a chilly autumnal morning? Oh, yes. And I'm starting my day with a freshly baked pan chocolat. I just cooked it in the Argo, it smells amazing. And Charlie's made me an oat milk latte, extra frothy. I'm gonna sit here and enjoy my breakfast while I catch up on some emails. Best friend didn't care about the rules, good on the weekends. I'll be in fools, drift in the deep space. So brave and so stupid, just like the movies. How it's gonna stay in the fight with you. Just thinking we would do this until we couldn't do it. Good morning, my darlings. Coming to you a little bit bleary eyed this morning. Don't know why. Didn't sleep very well last night. And I think I've got just, you know, when you have like a little fleck of something in your eye and it's really annoying. So if I'm squinting, I do apologize. So I'm starting the vlog today up in the attic bedroom. Don't think I've brought you guys up here for a little while. Um, nothing has changed aside from a new lamp, which I'll show you in a second. But the reason why I'm starting the vlog here is because I have pretty much a finished, finally finished, dressing room to show you this morning. Over the past couple of days, um, Carpenter Carl has been back here and he has been making some finishing touches. And aside from some teeny, teeny, tiny things, my dressing room is finally finished. It looks spectacular and I'm still having little pinch me moments every now and then. Um, but yeah, I should probably have left this until the end of the vlog and had it as a little bit of a teaser so that you watch all the way through, but I can't wait to show you. So we're gonna do that in a couple of moments. Um, today, of course, it's a working from home day. I am expecting a delivery, a very exciting delivery, uh, which is going to be my dressing table for the bedroom, for the master bedroom. Uh, we ordered it about eight to 10 weeks ago, a long time ago, from the French bedroom company, which is where all of the furniture in our bedroom is from, aside from our lamp and a little chair to go with it. So I really hope that does arrive today because it's the finishing piece of furniture for the master bedroom. Um, what else is going on today? We've got the plumber coming round. He's gonna hopefully help me um, with some quotes for removing all of the sinks and bits and bobs in what I'm gonna call the powder room, which is the bathroom of my dressing room for that project. And I have also received some lovely PR, some blogger mails. I'll go through that with you a little bit later. But without further ado, oh, this is the lamp in here. It's quite antique looking. Um, I think we got the base. I think the base was uh, from Soho Home website and the lampshade was from Soho Home at Bista Village. This is very much the Soho House bedroom. This bit of furniture here was a little bit of a disaster. Charlie ordered this without measuring it. It was meant to go in our bathroom, master bathroom between the two sinks, but it is far too big. It would have been really handy because it's got a big mirror whoop, in the lid there from made.com and I don't think you can return stuff from made.com because it's literally made to order but it's gonna be pretty useful for guests to put their bits and bobs in it if they're staying for a couple of nights so yeah it doesn't look awful but um, I'm sure we could have found something better for this spot but sadly yeah I don't think we can return it <laughs> okay are you ready for the reveal thankfully it's a glorious day dun 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 Oh my goodness. I forget what I've shown you because I've been doing a few sneak peeks on my Instagram stories. Quite hard to show you with the bright light coming in here, but let's start over in this corner. As you can see, um, first of all, up here, I had this little corner filled in because it was just a big dark gap and I just thought that spiders would live in there um, and it wasn't particularly useful. So I thought it would look good with it blocked in and I'm really, really happy that we did that. I finally have a door on my final shoe cupboard. We're still waiting for the push locks. That's why it's got the blue tabs on them. But this was just open before because we were waiting for this door, which has been, had to be cut to the exact perfect size. Whereas these are kind of standard size. And then that one had to be measured and 
and built quite bespoke so we've got that in there something which we debated about was the cornice along the top but if you think back to how it looked before i think it looked a little bit unfinished whereas this just gives it such a luxe kind of boutique -y finish if you take a step back <laughs> really annoying about that patch of light on the window but yeah it just looks so much better with the cornice and then we have got my gorgeous little bifold doors so these are how we get into the bathroom and again i just wanted it to be one straight line one almost like a wall <laughs> i might have to show you this later because that sunlight is just absolutely crazy um we've got the antique glass on my dressing table i think you guys saw this in the last update that i shared with you it had to be cut in loads of different bits because of the obscure shape but it looks absolutely gorgeous hopefully they're still working on some drawer liners because i would really like to have little separators in here and then we've also got the antique glass on the top here and this end is just looking a whole lot more complete now as well thanks to that cornice along the top there and of course this door is finally done it was another one that had to be created at a slightly different size and it could only be measured when everything else was built so we had to just wait a little while for this door to be done i just think they look absolutely beautiful such a lovely viewpoint and again i've asked for these to have push locks as the way of opening and closing them so they've got the tabs on them still as well <laughs> i feel like i look really mousy today i think it's because i slept quite badly my eyes are so puffy and i haven't got lipstick on so i feel like i just look really like mousy and young today but i've just got a super cozy outfit of the day my little h&m dress jumper dress and this is a cashmere cardigan or coatigan from senrev and i just love it it's great if you want to have an extra layer on but still look quite chic it is definitely one of my most worn pieces at the moment and then necklaces these actually arrived in a blogger mail this morning and this is the company in fact it is talus chains who have these beautiful sunglasses chains and i just absolutely love them this is from them as well this is a pure pearl one and then this is pearl and chain and you can see the necklaces are the same. So the same kind of chain and then the pearls. And I just really liked the hang of this one um, with it going quite low down. And this cardigan is 100% cashmere and it is just the most gorgeous thing in the world. You will be pleased to know that I'm getting a non-speckled mirror put in behind this one. So that when I do want to show you my outfit of the day, it's not going to have... The antiques markings in front of it so i am very very happy with how the dressing room is looking now it has been a long old journey but i'm yeah it is my dream dressing room now i'm gonna have a little rummage in the loft my goodness i'm shiny i'm just not having a good face day today um to see if i can find the bulbs for my studio lighting because the forecast today is nice but the forecast for the next 10 days is pure rain and i'm definitely going to need to be filming a few videos so i'm hopefully going to be able to find um all of my bits and bobs for the studio lighting so that i can create the perfect filming setup in here no matter the weather Goodness me, I'm not actually sure it's going to be possible for me to find anything in here. This is the room that we have been using as the loft. So basically storage. Obviously Charlie has got most of his clothes in here while he waits for his... Ooh, that looks like my ring light. <gasps> oh, how do I get there? Oh my god. Yes, it is my ring light. Hallelujah. However, I have no idea where the stand is for it. Wait, is that my ring light? Well, this was half successful. I have got my ring light up and that is a success i've got one of my soft boxes up but as you can see i don't have the filter which is the um it's kind of like a basically what that's got on it. it's like a blurring 
bit of white fabric that filters the light. Haven't got a clue where that is, which is very annoying. And also this stand, I don't have a way of attaching the softbox to this stand, which is, again, very annoying. So I think I'm gonna have to do some Amazon purchases because I don't have any idea where the two softbox covers are. Um, and I'm definitely gonna have to order a couple more tripods for them. I need to order one more tripod for my other light as well, which is the one that I got out for filming my autumn edit. Uh, let's see, which is this. I did have a few questions about it. It's the Falcon Eyes. Um, you can get bigger ones. I know that Freddie uses two of the bigger ones of these, but they are pretty expensive. I might get the bigger ones if I really struggle lighting wise um, in the autumn, in the winter months. But yeah, I need to get some kind of tripod that means that I can place this on there. So I'm just gonna do a little Amazon order and then we'll see what we can do with the current lighting setup. Okay, so I've just popped my camera on the tripod and I'm gonna try and figure this out. So just put some lipstick on so I don't feel quite as mousy. This is um, the lighting with the ring light, but it's not perfectly behind the camera. Thing is, I've got the massive window here, so I think I need the softbox on this side. <laughs> so I feel like the lighting on my face is best when I'm right close to the ring light like this, but the camera's now behind the ring light. I need it to be like, So how do I get the camera? Okay, <laughs> it's taken some serious acrobatics, but I now have the camera in front of the ring light. I have got a dust sheet up on the window and I've got a softbox on the floor down there. This all feels very temporary, but I think we have got a good lighting setup here. So I'm gonna go and make myself a coffee, <laughs> sort my now very sweaty face out and film an intro for Sunday's video. <laughs> Please leave a comment on Sunday's video saying how great the lighting is. Otherwise, this is all for nothing. <laughs> Okay, I'm about halfway through filming the video, just taking a very quick lunch break. Very quick being about five minutes. <laughs> I've just run downstairs and see what we've got in the fridge and we have got half a coronation chicken sandwich, like a full half, not a half eaten, but <laughs> some crisps and <laughs> some sausage rolls. So I'm basically having a picnic up in my dressing room. A little bit messy up here right now because when I'm filming, I don't tidy up as I go, which just means the room always ends up being a bit of a bomb site. But, but I prefer to get the video done, and then while the footage is importing into my laptop, hair up in a bun, comfy clothes on, and zip around, doing as much tidying as possible. The sun was getting pretty strong <laughs> coming through this window, so I think what I might do is ask, um, there's a carpenter called Mark who does quite a lot of little jobs for us around the house, like putting up mirrors and <laughs> things like that, that Charlie can't do. And I'm gonna ask him if he can make some kind of frame. In fact, I think one of you guys suggested this, um, and then I'll put a diffuser fabric on the frame and then see if there's a way of it kind of clicking into this window. That would make my life so much easier. This is my very nutritious, <laughs> not lunch, very beige, but on days like today, I just don't, make time to make myself lunch but if we had more veg in the house i probably would have made myself a quick soup in the thermomix but i just haven't had time i think moving forward i need to bulk i need to batch make some soups and risottos and things like that and then i can just really quickly quickly heat them up for lunch so at least i get a little bit of color and vegetable in my diet i'm taking another quick break from filming it's taking quite a while so hopefully you watch sunday's videos there's going to be lots of outfit inspiration Come on, Bunny, because Charlie has been doing some gardening and he wants to show me his work in progress. Yeah. 
Oh, that is glorious. So these are obviously from garden training. Yeah. And then uh, we've used the plants, you know, the... Darling, the plants this looks that we amazing. Got from, um, Nicholson's. Oh. <clears throat> and what's nice is, this is lavender. It's a certain Oops, sorry, type of lavender. Yeah. It's more the kind of lavender, because lavender's a herb, right? Mm -hmm. This is more the kind that you actually could use in cuisine. Looks However, like um, rosemary. Yeah, but this will... Are you this, sure that's lavender? It's 100% lavender. Smell it. It is lavender. <laughs> I can't smell um, anything. Anyway, so that's in both, and that is perennial. Yeah. So that will come back every year. Whereas I believe these are annuals. Okay. So basically every year we'll just stick a few new things in. How gorgeous. Nice. Obviously the plan here eventually will be to get a trough, I think. And then these will probably go somewhere in the house. Mm -hmm. But for now I think they look good here, don't they? Nice one, darling. This looks amazing. Yeah. So the two pots are from Garden, Garden Trading. Trading yeah. And they're galvanised still. They're, yeah, they're quite thin. But they're, once you put soil in them, they feel quite substantial. Nice. And where did we get that one from? Was this that from is the... from Old Mill. Station Mill. Yeah, Station Mill, mm -hmm. which Lucy recommended. Yeah. And then this is also from Nicholson's. But we got these in the sale in Nicholson's. So if you live in the area, yeah. or if you're ever in Oxfordshire, it's good. because by Soho all... Farmhouse, isn't it? Yeah, these are all, yeah, it's in great shape. Mm -hmm. I think the only thing I'm a bit concerned about is these two ferns are going to do really well but these two we didn't really check the label did we and they don't grow very tall no and then i, I just quickly walked down with me so i'm going to ask you advice about this now come with me come on come on small i wait for my mummy My darlings, I cannot believe it. It is that time of year already, it would seem. Oh my gosh, by the time you're watching this video, we'll be in October. And here are my first PR advent calendars. Oh my goodness, I can't believe it. <laughs> I'm so looking forward to Christmas in this new house, but oh my gosh, I'm not quite ready to think about it just yet. But this first one, oops. This first one here is from the White Company. It looks absolutely stunning. A beautiful, chunky white box. And I love it when they have the drawers like this because you can reuse them. Charlie's best gift to me last year was the advent calendar. And inside each day there was a special treat, whether it was some sweeties or even um, in one of them was a trip to the Blenheim Palace light show. So yeah, really nice to reuse. This has obviously got some really lovely treats from the White Company. I just opened up number one, which is the Midnight Candle. Let's have a look. Ooh. Of course, White Company have the most amazing skincare range now as well. This is their Seychelles Body Lotion. Pretty good sizes too. Christmas Eve, another candle, the iconic winter. My goodness. 15 is my lucky number. What's, ooh, gorgeous, nourishing spa conditioner. This is a really, really lovely one. I think if you know someone who likes a bit of pampering, this would be a good one to gift your mum or your sister. Absolutely gorgeous. I cannot wait to open this every single day in December. And then, for the beauty lovers, the glossy box Evan calendar. This one is always so highly anticipated. And this year, it's a really beautiful rose gold and pink design. This little booklet actually um, is full of spoilers for all the different days. I've had a flick through and there's some incredible products in here. Ooh, Bare Minerals, Body Shop, Huda Beauty, Sunday Riley, oh my gosh, Zoeva, Glow Recipe, Fenty Beauty, so many amazing brands. And they are in these little drawers. So you have to find whatever day it is and then unbox. I'm not gonna do it now because that would take too long, but this is gorgeous. This would look so lovely in our pink room. Maybe I should pop advent calendars in the guest rooms and whoever's staying with us that night gets to open the daily advent calendar. If we're allowed to have people stay at Christmas, that is. You're very naughty. <gasps> Little boys aren't allowed up here. Come on, you dig? If someone asks me, oh, I like the rest yeah. of them, that's the problem, then I would... <laughs> My new dressing table has arrived. Oh my goodness. So I bought this from the French 
bedroom company and it matches our bed and the other mirror which you can see in the corner and I also chose this beautiful chair. It's got a very similar um, colour silk at the back here as our bed frame and our chaise. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you can see the mess of Charlie's clothes on the bed. I'm trying to avoid it in the reflection but look how beautiful this is. So you've got these two little side mirrors, which will be very helpful when I'm popping my makeup on. I can just position them to try and get the best light. They did annoyingly um, not send these kind of like top bits, but they're going to send those separately. And then we've got, I think, three drawers or is it? Yes, three drawers. Oh, I wonder if these are the top bits and the guys didn't see them. I bet they are. Let's have a look. Yep, that's literally what it was. So these are called the little crowns that go on top. Ooh, I don't want to break it, so that needs to go in there. Okay, managed to pop all of the little crowns on. Only this one is fitting 100% properly. Um, the others, I think I need Charlie's strength to just pop it in a little bit further, otherwise we might need to file down these little bits. But it looks so beautiful. I can pop my makeup in here now instead of the basket that I've got in the bathroom. Pop a few hair tools in. We've got a plug just here and just there for when I want to do my hair. Because at the moment, I've got my Dyson Air Wrap in the bottom of here. So this can come out of my lounge and gym wear drawer. And all of my attachments. Amazing. And then I also have my GHD Platinum Stylers and my GHD Rise. These are the three products that I use on a very regular basis. So now I can pop them all in the drawer of my dressing table. Okay, everything just about fits. So I've got the main tools in here. Let's see if that's gonna close. It's snug, but it closes. And then we have got my hairbrush, my clip for when I'm uh, blow drying and my favorite Dyson attachments in there. And then I think I will use this one for hair bubbles. So this is officially my new hair station. I've just propped you very precariously on top of a tub of moisturizer because speaking of hair, I have the most amazing, very, very kind delivery today from GHD and it is their Christmas set. So I don't know if you'll remember, uh, last year I went up to York with GHD. I was in like a kind of conjoining room with Freddie and it was just the most magical evening. It was such a beautiful location that we stayed in. GHD just organized the most amazing activities for us. That was, I think, the first time they'd done this incredible set for Christmas. So I was thinking how on earth can they top that this year? Well, this is GHD's 2020 Christmas gift set. It's called the Deluxe Set, and this is the Platinum Plus Smart Styler and Helios Professional Hair Dryer. Of course, this year you get the incredible Helios Hair Dryer. So last year's um, Deluxe box was this kind of rich burgundy. In fact, I can show you it in a second because we're currently using it as our first aid box. This would actually be really nice to keep by my dressing table with hair tools in it. Hmm. Or maybe even I'll bring the burgundy one in and swap this one for the first aid box. Yes, that's a better idea. It's got these little stars on the top here and let's see what is inside. Oh, oh my gosh. So this collection is almost like a pearly iridescent finish. Oh my gosh. I'm so grateful, JHD, to you for sending this. So inside the set, you have got the pearly platinum styler. <laughs> you may remember a little while ago, I finally taught myself how to create the perfect, beautiful curls in my hair using my Platinum Plus styler. I've been very lazy up until this year and just never taught myself how to do it, but I feel like I need to do a video on my favorite hair tools because I love my Dyson Air Wrap, I love my GHD Rise, and I love my Platinum Plus stylers. They are definitely my top three. But yeah, back to the Christmas set. This, I don't know if you can see on camera, it's like a white pearl shade and it really picks up whatever color um, it's next to. So for me, it's looking blue, but from your angle, because it's picking up the outside where the sky is blue, it's looking a little bit blue pearly, but when I look at it, it's pink pearly. It's just absolutely 
beautiful and then in that sh that same stunning iridescent color you've got the hairdryer the helios this is seriously powerful and it really smooths the hair out it is a beautiful hair dryer i didn't realize i've got a little hook here this one has got like a light gold finish on here as well absolutely stunning i think the original one may have been rose gold but i really like this color wise it goes perfectly with this room so that is just the most stunning set from ghd i'll leave a link down below this will be I'm sure on so many people's Christmas wish list. And then this is what the camera was propped on a second ago. So October is the Breast Cancer Awareness Month and Elemis always do the most generous um, contribution to the charity. Usually it's a lump sum. I'll leave the information what they're doing this year linked down below. But as always, there are some limited edition, super sized products you can get your hands on. Always they're absolute classics. So this is the Pro Collagen Marine Cream in this insane super sized tub. So many of you guys I know absolutely love this. I absolutely adore it. It's one of those moisturizers that you can just rely on and go back to amazing for those early signs of aging with the pro collagen and it's just got so so many benefits to this it has got an absolute cult following for a good reason so i'm going to put this straight in the bathroom because i need a good new everyday moisturizer another amazing delivery has just arrived and this one i am so excited for because it is some seriously cozy pieces this brand called brora actually emailed me a couple of weeks ago and i chose these pieces from their website i live in cashmere socks i need to get better at not ruining them in the wash i'm down to my final pair of cashmere socks from the white company that i haven't ruined so yeah i need to be so much more careful with these and these are actually like a fair isle um, chunky knit. Oh, they are so soft. I'm going to put those on now. Um, they actually sent me one of their face masks as well, which is really lovely. That's a really nice print. I think that would look so nice when I'm wearing my barber jacket and my boots when I'm doing countryside things. Um, and then this absolutely gorgeous cashmere cardigan. I've got a jumper on now, but um, I'm going to quickly change into a different top and show you how this looks. Oh my goodness, this is absolute perfection. It's just the lovely, the loveliest, softest, coziest cardigan. I love this kind of like speckledy um, cashmere. That is really lovely. I don't know if it's any better if I show you here. Cannot wait to get my, ooh, actually. Obviously I can show you how it looks from a little bit further away here. I've just popped it on with my v-neck silk top from Lily Silk. This is a really nice smart-ish or just very elevated and elegant way of dressing if you're working from home. Working in your living room, just some really comfortable legging style trousers which are still fairly smart. I think because all the colours are neutral it looks like quite a luxe look as well. Can't wait to get this room renovated but um, yeah you can see it a little bit more clearly here without any speckles anywhere. Yeah, really, really like that. That's seriously cozy. My goodness, these are a lot longer than I was expecting. So there's a lot of rolling up going on here. These would be fantastic inside walking boots. I just love this. Is it called the Fair Isle where it's like that twisted detail? They're pretty roomy. I think they are um, like small, medium and large. I think I probably would have gone for the smaller size, but they're still pretty roomy. So if you are thinking about your sizing, then I would say to size down. But to keep my little toes warm and cosy in this house during the winter, I mean, this is probably... No, that's probably the same as wearing socks and sandals, isn't it? And then <laughs> the lovely face mask as well. The elastics on this were actually super long, so I've tucked it behind my hair bun. I don't know if you can see that. And it is so much more comfortable having it behind my bun as opposed to behind my ears. So next time I have a day in London or a long journey where I need to be wearing a face mask, that is the way to do it. Thank you, Brora. I've actually got a little section here in, oh, I've just realized it's got a metal strip in it as well. That's amazing. Yeah, I've got this little section inside my belts and other accessories drawer. <laughs> Currently belts, masks, and my Gucci tights. So I always know where my lovely face masks are. 
I'm about to start cooking a cauliflower shawarma for dinner and I just had to show you this heart-shaped potato. How cute is this? I'm going to do a couple of um, potatoes just to pat it out a little bit because Charlie's been out in the garden so he's probably pretty hungry. But how cute is that? <laughs> ready. I followed um, a YouTube recipe for curried chickpeas. It's quite like an Indian style curry from a YouTube channel of one of the previous contestants of the Great British Bake Off. I did freestyle a little bit with the cauliflower and added some um, potato in there as well. So we've got some nice spiced potatoes and then that doesn't look very appetizing but it is a green tahini dip just to pop on top. There we go mate. And a little bit of green veg just for good measure. And dinner is served. So we are going to enjoy this while, <laughs> while watching something on Netflix. I just started watching Get Organized, which is the two girls that run the Get Organized Instagram account that basically come into your house and organize stuff for you. It's very satisfying to watch. They're doing Reese Witherspoon's house, going through all her Legally Blonde oh, yeah, memorabilia. Yeah, it's my it's my oh, good. Well, that's what we're watching while we have our dinner. Darlings, I'm going to end the vlog now before I eat. So thank you for watching. I will see you tomorrow. Good night.